Heralded by the sound of birds chirping and sunlight speckling through the trees, a new day begins at Oak Grove Nursing Home here in Groves, Texas. And an early morning stroll through the halls takes you on a journey. From vast valleys to beautiful vistas, these are paintings of passion created by a very talented artist. My favorite things to paint are outdoor scenes. I have begun to branch out with new types of scenes. I am beginning to paint boats, lighthouses and animal faces. It is rewarding to see others enjoy my paintings. While much of Doug Jackson's work resides in Oak Grove where he lives, he's sold pieces all over the country and he's even been featured in a gallery or two. He's reached an artistic point in his life that takes many artists years to achieve. And Doug did it with cerebral palsy. So Doug, can you tell me what it was like growing up with cerebral palsy? It is a lack of oxygen in the brain. Something went wrong. When the oxygen was cut off, it damaged oh. nerves that tells my muscles what to do. Growing up with CP was a challenge. Growing up, Doug suffered from rigid limbs and involuntary motions, which rendered his hands useless. Things you would think would make being an artist impossible. But that all changed when his father and brother came up with an idea off the top of their heads. Painting is your favorite thing to do? Yeah. Yeah. You want to show me now? Yeah. Okay. Can we go in your studio? Yeah. I will explain how I miraculously discovered my talent. One day I was watching my brother. His name is Robert Jackson and he was painting. He stuck a paintbrush in the end of my stylus which my family had made for me. I was about 11 years old. I started teaching myself how to paint. The rest is history. Sitting before a canvas with a brush mounted on his forehead, Doug mixes hues and crafts scenes like Monet. It's a fascinating process to watch and it's one that still amazes Doug's good friend, Monty Osborne. I said, no way, that that painting was done uh, by Doug. It was, just, it was just extraordinary. And there is so much talent that's in those paintings. And to know that someone can do that with a paintbrush that's attached to a stylus, that's attached to their head, uh, is just an amazing uh, talent. Like his right and left hand man all rolled into one, Doug's stylist is key to not just his paintings, but his independence. Using it along with lots of patience, Doug can surf the web and also send emails. Growing up, he was even a Boy Scout and stayed involved in community activities all the while being encouraged by his parents to never let his disability stop him from enjoying his life. And that made all the difference in the world. <laughs> you want to know if it's hard to live with CP? Well, that depends. It depends on who you are supported by and if they believe in you. Do you think you'd ever want a new stylist? <sighs> No? Because your dad made that. If you are challenged and taught to accomplish any task a normal person does, you need people to make you do something even though you may not think you can do it. A person with CP can live almost as independent as you are. You know, one of the things about Doug is he's extremely determined. He's in a, in a wheelchair, but he propels himself using his feet. And if you go up and try to propel him yourself and push him, that's not going to work for Doug. I mean, he's just an extraordinary guy. I can't say it enough. He's, uh, he's very special. Hey, Doug, what's going on? Uh, special, happy, <laughs> kind.
behind. These are just a few of the qualities that can be seen in Doug and his paintings. They're often bright and hopeful, depicting an emotion Monty says is impossible to not feel when you're around Doug. Joy. What have you learned from Doug? Uh, we don't have enough time for me to, to explain to you all the things, but of course I know I'm inspired by him. Uh, the people here where he lives, uh, you can see as they walk by, they all know Doug, not just for his painting, uh, which is extraordinary, but because he's just a genuinely nice guy that you want to know. And I'm inspired by him. Regardless of what challenges you face, as long as you go at it with a positive attitude, uh, you can make things happen. Uh, and I think Doug reminds everyone he meets that just having that positive attitude and that, that friendly outlook uh, will do wonders for you. Should more people have Doug's work? Uh, only if they value art. So what is art? In this case, it's Doug. <laughs> art can be created shared and admired in many ways. It can represent different things to different people and shine a light on one man's idea of how we all should live. Ah, get rid of that red. <laughs> Thankfully and graciously, no matter what life throws at you. And if Doug Jackson can get people to do that, <laughs> then he's made his mark on the world. I think you've got a lot of love in all these paintings. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Do I think that I am an inspiration to others? What yeah. color are you going to get now? Well, I sure hope that I am. I want to be an inspiration to those with any kind of challenge in their life. I would say to never give up the ship. No matter how high the waves are, sooner or later those waves are going to rest along the shore. Are you done? Yeah. Yeah, I see it. All right, yeah.